What's going on everyone? We're currently entering the midst of a hurricane right now. Well, not really. It's like hundreds of miles from here. Literally, it's over by Canada. But what they say is that the wind field is so big that the tropical storm force winds are in like Connecticut. We're getting tropical storm force wind gusts over here. So these are nowhere near the winds that they're probably seeing. These winds are at most like 16 miles an hour, but they are saying gusts could be like 40 miles an hour, which is okay and cool, I guess. So let's record this thing. And by the way, if you want to, you can use this in videos, although you just gotta give me some credit. So I'll show you what's going to happen to the day. Chickens, you guys are completely oblivious to the fact that there's a hurricane hitting us right now. Although it doesn't look like it, if there's like rain here, oh yeah, these chickens would not be oblivious to it. They'd be in their coop, quiet as ever, making sure the wind isn't humming around them. So you could just see all these chickens right here. Falcon's being a pest just like any other day. He's being a little bit of a termite, just like any day. Woke me up at 8 in the morning while I was trying to get some sleep after the long week of waking up at 5 in the morning every day. But you know Falcon, he's got to wake everyone up with his annoying crows and clucks and whatever he does. I wouldn't even call that clucking or crowing. I call that making the most obnoxious sound for the, for the sake of making the most obnoxious sound in recorded history, because why wouldn't he? Either way, this whole area right here is just fine. You can see that there are some leaves blowing into the road. That's not that big of a deal right now. Right now, our biggest concern isn't the leaves blowing in the road. Right now, our biggest concern is getting ready for the vacation because I'm still trying to get rid of, get some of the videos up there. I just literally, literally just finished making the 2000 special. The amount of hours it took me once I like added that last voiceover clip, it said 94. It's actually rose to 106. It's actually not 106, 113. So it's now the biggest video I've ever made, 113 hours surpassing my three hour documentary which is just 50 of my videos with tons of color effects and video effects added to them so we did the best possible version which is linked in the iCard above if you want to help me get to my 4,000 watch hours sooner than later but I did actually put a lot of effort into the thumbnails for the vacation video so hopefully they do the trick at least and also before I close out this clip and go to the next clip Peter wants to say hi Anyways, the next clip won't include any rambling or talking. Let's go back to it. So it appears as if the worst of the impacts will be around 2 to 4 o'clock, which is good. Anyways, I'm about to sneeze, so I'm about to close this video clip out and then show you what the rest of the impacts will be like without, without a lot of talking. And of course, this rooster sucks. grown chickens over here along with some wind over here so far the maximum sustained wind we've got here is 18 miles an hour with the max wind gust of around 39 so we're getting pretty close actually 39 is tropical storm it's 38 to 73 so we actually were in a tropical storm force wind gust so far look at all those i don't know if you can tell but there's so many leaves raining down right now it is crazy to look at like i don't think we've seen any of this wind all summer but already, first speck of damage right there. Some little branches down. Anyways, I'm gonna go back inside and fix myself a nice bowl of cereal, even though it's like noon. Some iced tea, which doesn't really go along with cereal. And hope and pray that the 2000 specials finally finished its exporting. And by the way, today is Saturday.
All right, back to work. So the sun is coming out, but the winds will remain here. You might just saw the last clip. Literally, I just uploaded the 2000 special. It's coming out at 8 o'clock on the 23rd. It will, it'll either premiere or it'll just be randomly uploaded. I haven't yet quite decided which one yet, but I'll let you know as soon as possible in a community post. But right now, as of the latest, wind gusts are increasing, like, a lot. These winds are gusting pretty close to 50 miles an hour occasionally. Um, let's go check on the baby chickens. Well, we're, we wouldn't really call them baby chickens. We're averaging about one to two eggs a day now out of there. And we're not even on vacation yet. I predicted, like, literally we'd see our first egg sometime while we're on vacation. By the way, I have some very good news about our quote-unquote rooster. Remember how we talked about this black chicken over here? See how she just ducked down or mounted or whatever you want to call that? That is a that is an easy way to prove that a chicken around this age is a hen. You can see how they're sort of like ducking down some of them. Others really aren't, but a lot of them actually are. And that just shows you that yeah, they're either laying eggs or they're about to lay eggs. And if you hear that weird sound, that's because we have this obstacle course up here, which I'm too big to even fit on. Why are you chasing me, little buddy? Let's check and see how everybody's doing in here. I, that's not Puff. I thought that was Puff. I was about to say hello to Puff. Oh my. Fresh shavings in the coop. See them ducking down. That's Puff right there. Puff is also probably a hen, judging based on the size and the fact their tail feathers aren't really that different. And also the eggs are progressively getting much bigger as the days proceed over here. Um, these chickens, half of them decided to come out, half of them don't. They haven't really experienced any winds. The summer was very uneventful. They experienced heavy rain, obviously, because they were literally living with inside of a, um, if you notice how high up this thing is, it's actually much higher than it was previously. And that's actually not really that intentional. It's just sort of there. So let's see if we have any real eggs in here. I think we got an egg right here. We got a real egg. So egg collection count is good for this flock, at least. Right, there's some wind. Yeah, there's some wind for you guys. That, that should make the video at least a slight bit more entertaining. So yeah, I just need to... Oh yeah, this thing fell down, yo, let's go. Just need to retie this bungee cord to it, of course, because that's what we have to do to it. Now, put this thing through this hole. There we go. Now we just gotta get the other one on. Look at all these chickens. They're congregating in this area right over here. Look at all of them. They're all congregating. And they have all the water they need for the day. So far the storm's not been as bad as I pictured it being. Oh, well, I need to avoid this area because there's a uh, mud, not a mud wasp, a, um, I don't know what they are. They're like sweat bees. And I don't really want to stick around to find out what they actually are really, because I'd rather avoid getting stung by a bee because I've been stung by like 25 of them at once and that's something you want to go through. That was pretty gusty. That might have been about 45 miles an hour. Not the strongest, but not the weakest either. That came out of nowhere. I'm so glad I picked up the camera for that one. That was pretty cool. Anyway, I think I got a thumbnail shot in that video as well. So yeah, just take a screenshot, poorly crop it, and then plop it into the video editor and add some text and make the title over dramatic like, oh, we survived Hurricane Lee. I don't know, it don't be that bad. I'm pretty sure that if we lived up at Maine, oh, this video would be way more entertaining. And there would be a lot less clips filmed. But I can go out here because the chances of a tree falling are like very low. The chances of me reaching 4,000 watch hours by the time I'm over vacation is significantly higher than a tree falling. Yeah, we have a little bit of a problem now, I think. I don't think you should be in here. You should be out trying to hunt the mice, not trying to get the chickens. I mean, she doesn't actually try to get them. She scares them, obviously. Cute, have you finally gotten over yourself? 
has finally gone past the blockade of being broody. Let's see who's in the box right now and see. No one. Zero chickens are in the box. I mean, these chickens are much older. And there are some chickens that are a little bit concerning. Abra well, actually looks like she's like 70 in human years. All these other chickens don't look anywhere near that. Like cute, summer, they all just look wrinkly because they're going into the winter months. Abra well, actually looks like she can suffer some form of disease or something like that. So I need to monitor abs as we continue throughout the month because abs is a little bit concerning. So yeah, I'm gonna go film another video for the vacation uh, cache. Anyways, I'm gonna go and film that and I'll be back in like 25, 30 minutes. I'm, I'm gonna edit that, upload it, and get it out. So that way I can finally rest assured knowing I have a video for whatever the day is. So we are back now and the winds are getting as strong as they probably will get as the day proceeds. They're gonna go down as the hours proceed. I'll probably get another hour or two of content out of the storm. Oh, the, these hornets right here? I don't, that wasn't a bald-faced hornet. That had like two yellow stripes and the rest of it was black. Tell me in the comments below if you know what that weird thing is. I don't know what it is. We have a lot of hornets here. They all suck. If the winds were strong enough, it probably would have been able to topple over that massive hornet nest. It's like 20 inches tall, yo. That thing's massive. You don't want to get stung by those because they also bite. They're not the friendliest little hornets ever. And they all suck equally. Trust me. Either way, I am back from recording some videos for the vacation. And yeah, we just have two more videos to record starting with a video essay and one more other video of the 2000 specials up and ready to go with all of its bug fixing components completed and all that whatnot so yeah if this if this video actually somehow gets views I, i'd be shocked if this gets any more than 30 views but you know people enjoy watching hurricane coverage for whatever reason even though yeah this is not the most exciting hurricane coverage because i am miles much miles and miles and miles from where the storm is actually severely impacting but i figured i'd just show you what's going on over here just in case you're curious to see what's happening outside of the center of the storm you've been getting wind just about all day today it's not been like intense wind but it's enough to move down a couple small branches and all that whatnot all right so let's conclude the video out on that there's no more wind to be expected that is above 15 miles an hour at this point the wind has really calmed down the break in between winds has dropped from like two minutes to like 20 minutes now. So I think we're just about ready to conclude the storm. There are some branches down and I did hear that down the road there was a branch that almost hit a power line, but all is good. No one over here at least has lost power. I'll go check and see how many people have actually lost power statewide. It's probably less than 1,000, but if it's more than 1,000, yeah, it might be a little bit problematic. So yeah, if you're without power now, I heard the storm made landfall like 10 minutes ago. So it's nowhere near us, thank God, but we're, we're spared from the worst. There are some branches down, some some gusty winds and all that whatnot. Typically we don't see any major wind storms in September, and I don't typically like covering storms. And also, right before I leave and ask you guys to subscribe and cut to the outro, I just want to say that Summer has finally gotten her tail feathers back, which is very cool, and you just saw her bite the camera. So if you did enjoy this video or derive something from it, be sure to click the video on the screen right now, which is my video from yesterday showing you how I prepared for the storm. Anyways, I'm out. Subscribe.